Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel. My name is Xander. Today we're going to be covering the subject of installing and running a virtual box on your Windows machine. So let's get started. To crack it off, you're going to need to hit Google hard and search for a VM box. Once you've done that, Oracle VM virtual box will be the first one there. That's what we're going to be downloading. So hit download. Once in that, you're going to see VirtualBox 4.18 for Windows host. Click download again. Once you've done this, the download thing will pop up and it will go to your download folder. So that's that. Um, on a side note, if you wish to download this wallpaper of a beautiful Final Fantasy VII, Sephiroth from Cloud, I will never be a memory, you can head over to my wallpaper website, epicwallpapers.net. Link will be in my pants. Um, yeah, that sounded wrong. Um, and you'll be able to download all sorts of beautiful wallpapers from there. This is my own website and I spent a lot of time on it. Anyway, minimize. Um, going to head on over to my download folder and there's VirtualBox. Now, when you install this, it's gonna give you lots of things to install and it's gonna ask you yes and no a lot of times. Keep clicking yes because if you don't, it won't install it and it will not work. Um, it's also going to install you, ask you to install some fake drivers. Um, these are your drivers for hard drives and video and network and USB and keyboard and mouse. Click yes to everything. If you don't click yes, obviously it will not work and you'll be wasting your time. So I'm going to load it up now and there's one I've made earlier. So I'm going to remove that because I want to show you from scratch and it's all gone. So this is what you're going to see as your first time user. And you're going to click new, obviously, and it's gonna take you to a wizard. It's all pretty straightforward from this point, but there's a few things which might confuse you as you go through this. Um, first thing is what you're going to install. Now you can either install a Windows product, window from Windows 3.1 all the way up to Windows 8 64 bit. I will be covering Windows 8 in the video very soon, so subscribe to my channel to see that. Um, you can also install 7, 2008 server, Vista 2003 server, XP 2000, NT, Me 98, 95, 3.1. If you're having troubles looking at this, this is actually filmed in 1080p, so whack this up to um, full size and put it on your screen and you'll be able to see everything better. Um, also on Linux, you can install all the Linux gubbings, Ubuntu, Oracle, Red Hat, um, Federal Core, uh, etc. etc. Um, you can also install some BSD, IBM, and there's some, uh, uh, you probably might not know, it's a shitty little company called Mac. They produce this, uh, this phone, orange, Apple, I don't know. Um, they aren't that popular, to be honest. I mean, let's face it, if, if you've got an iPhone, you are a faggot. That's all I'm going to say. And if you don't like what I just said, go fuck yourself. Anyway, back to installing Ubuntu in this case. So I'm going to give it a name, Ubuntu, and I spelt it wrong. Well done, spastic. Um, also, one thing I will say is that you, if you are easily offended, stop being such a pussy um, because... I'm offensive, quite frankly. Um, so anyway, I'm calling it Ubuntu 10.4 because that is what I'm going to be installing. I've downloaded it there and that is there. So next. Now this is gonna ask you how many RAM would you like to give it? I'm going to give it 248 RAM. That's my favorite amount of RAMs. Um, obviously, if you've got a smaller system, knock it down to 512. If you've got a bigger system, knock it up to 400, um, four gig etc etc um, next um, create a new hard disk this is going to be on the option if it's the first time you used it um, so you're going to be clicking next and this is going to come up by default you're always going to want to keep it virtual box disk image you're not going to want to mess around with this stuff down here um, on some occasions you might need to do that but I'll be covering that on individual operating systems anyway Next again. So this is one option you will have to decide what you want to do with it. You can either give it a dynamic allocated virtual disk 
or a fixed size virtual disk basically means that um, a fixed size will give you eight giga space or whatever amount of gig you want to give it once that amount of space is up you have to start deleting and uninstalling stuff if you give it a dynamic amount of space it means that by default you give it eight gig once that eight gig is used it then spreads up to 12 gig 24 gig um, 48 gig 200 gig upwards and upwards and upwards so you never have a size issue until your hard drive runs out obviously um, I'm going to keep it dynamic and I'm going to click next and um, the hard drive is going to be called Ubuntu 10.4 and I'm going to give it 8 gig like I said once again that will grow in size as and when um, summary am I sure certainly am and summary create again so straight away there's a few problems here because it's only given it 12 mega space on my graphics card um, 3d acceleration is not abled and my network adapter is the wrong one so I'm going to be going to settings now it's going to load it up a couple seconds there we go you're not going to change anything on this uh, unless you royally fucked it all up in that case start again um, but what will be changing is on this system I'm going to be given a network and if you've got a really powerful system you can add more processors now if you do start adding more processor it starts going oh and it gets a bit confused best just keep it as one it eliminates any problem display like I said I'm going to be giving it 64 meg of um, graphics card power and I'm going to give it 3D acceleration which means that in Ubuntu I can do all the nice shiny moving around things which Ubuntu does so well unlike Windows which is quite boring at times storage you're not going to touch anything there audio you're not going to touch anything there network you're going to leave that well alone serial ports now if you are going to be um, using Ubuntu to unlock Android phones through Android unlocking boxes and Apple products like the iPad, iPhone, iSanitary towel, I'm a loser, whatever you've got made by Apple you might need to allow something there and the same for USB devices. Now I will need to add my wireless network adapter to this. Um, now you, you won't need to add your gaming mouse or keyboard they'll be automatic so you don't need to worry about that but the wireless adapter I will need to add um, share folders is a completely different video I'll do that soon if you've got any questions though leave them in the comments below I will answer them as soon as possible I, I do answer comments so anyway as you can see I've added a few updates here I've now got 64 meg space and 3d graphics etc etc and I'm going to click start now if all goes well it's now going to ask me to select my installation media um, in this case it's Ubuntu as you can see it navigates to your desktop and you can select it from there you can do Ubuntu or whatever Linux you want to do or Windows um, if you've got a disk you can just select um, from the disk drive I don't actually have any CD drives because I don't like the look of them um, so if you download Windows XP 7 Vista or 8 obviously from a, leg a legitimate source because we don't agree with piracy um, piracy is bad for the, the multi-billion pound companies um, so if you are a pirate and you're on minimum wage go out and spend 300 quid on an operating system which in general is shit just so them big companies can have an extra billion pounds at the end of the year I'm being ironic if you haven't gathered that um, anyway I'm going to click next. I've had some warnings pop up here. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to ignore them. Um, I'm going to click finish. If everything goes all right, it should now start installing. What are you doing? Um, Windows. Da da da. So, Windows. Now it's not installing Windows. It's installing Ubuntu. And as you can see, it's now starting in Ubuntu install. Anyway, any questions? Any comments? Drop them below. I will answer them. Um, if you. Um, I forgot what I was going to bloody say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, fuck off somewhere else. You've been watching it for nine minutes. If you've really got nine minutes of your life to waste watching a video that you do not like, sort yourself fucking out, to be honest. 
you shouldn't be watching videos on how to do this. You should be getting help. Um, and if you need any more help or if you want to follow me, hit the subscribe button up above. I don't know why I move my fingers. It's a microphone, um, not a webcam. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.